New updates have been revealed in the Takashi 69 case after he was sentenced to two years in prison while he was facing 47 years minimum. To earn almost 45 years of freedom, he had to work with the feds by becoming their snitch, and you will not believe who he has snitched on this time, so stay tuned, you will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a Takashi 69 fan, and if you would like to join our Christmas giveaway of a new iPhone 11, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, Takashi69 was once the most talked about and trending rapper in the game. Song after song released by him was hitting the Billboard charts, and it had him feeling untouchable in the industry. His confidence grew with his success, which is where he started taking over social media, and he got even more attention. He was considered a troll by mostly everyone. If you know this, you've seen his social media. Everyone considered him a troll because he would always spark conflict with someone, usually another rapper, and it started becoming a habit for 6 9 he would get in a lot of drama, not only just starting random conflicts, but he would also mess with a lot of other rappers baby mamas just to get attention and he would run it on social media. And it was actually pretty funny, he usually always ended up embarrassing the other person he was in an argument with or some type of drama in. Even though sometimes it was a very dangerous thing to do, he was always presumed to be about that life. Almost every song released by him, he rapped about gang life and gang activity. So he always claimed to be a gangster and claimed to be about that. So people were very surprised when he started snitching to try and save himself from prison. And he instantly got so much backlash and hate from this, especially after the people that he recently snitched on. You will want to hear about this, so keep watching. 6 9 was a part of the Blood Gang, 9 Trey Bloods. Him and other members were hit with the RICO case, facing multiple felony charges. 6 9 was the one who had all the information. He was pretty much the center of everything, mostly because he was the famous one making the money. So he essentially got the offer to snitch first, and he took the offer without second thought. He gave up so much information about the gang and what they were involved in, but he also gave up information about others that were not even a part of these original charges. These names include Cardi B, Trippy Red, Jim Jones, Chief Keef, and also, like I said, multiple other gang members. Snitching is a very dangerous thing to do, and it has ended up with multiple people behind bars, including 6 ix former manager Shoddy, who was sentenced to 15 years in prison as a result of all of this. So no doubt the snitching was not a joke, but it started becoming a joke after multiple other rappers who were getting in trouble around the same time 6 9 was snitching. For example, 21 Savage being deported and Kodak Black being arrested. There was a kind of rumor that went around and it started even a meme that 6 9 was behind all of these other arrests at the same time. It was a coincidence, but it had some people very suspicious. This all eventually, like I said, turned into a meme. It started trending that 6 9 was snitching on basically everybody, and everyone that was involved in some type of drama with the police at the same time believed to be 6 9 working with the feds and giving them more information. And to add to the list of people that were rumored to be snitched on by 6 9 was Juice World. Juice World was apparently being followed by the feds for a while before they finally stormed his private jet. I'm sure you've all heard of this. And all of this at the same time that 6 9s trial was ending and during the same time that he was snitching. In a very strange coincidence, it had so many people around the same time getting arrested and followed by the feds and this was just another one to add to it. Obviously, this could all just be a very strange coincidence, but it does have people talking and spreading more rumors. Either way, if it's true or not, it's actually pretty entertaining altogether and it does kind of make you think about it. It's a very huge coincidence because 6 9 name dropped so many people and around the same time so many other rappers were getting in trouble and now there's just another one to add. Juice World was being followed by the feds. Who knows if it's really true like I said. It could all just be one big coincidence. But it is very interesting and does have people starting even more rumors. The 6 9 memes are starting to fly again. I do want to know, do you think that 6 9 do you think that there's more names that have not been revealed to us that he has snitched on? Could he actually be the cause of so many other rappers recently getting in trouble or arrested? Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. It's actually very interesting to hear people's theories on all of this. Even if they, even if they just are untrue rumors, it's still entertaining to hear.
With that being said, I am going to end the video here. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this. Also, if you are a 6 9 fan, leave a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.